All right, boys and girls, we are back. So we're going to do, we're actually going, sorry, we're going to do this. We're actually doing, picked up two storage units today. Um, just got the U-Haul and we have to drive about an hour and a half away, but I'm really pumped because we got them for 80 for the one and 60 for the other. So I never get them that cheap. First time I've ever gotten a unit under a hundred. So we'll keep you posted. Okay, here's the first unit. We got this one for 60. So that's what you got right off the bat. We're not gonna look because we're in a hurry to get home today, but right there's cash flow, brand new. It's not even been played. That's like probably 50 or 60 on eBay. So that'll pay for the unit right there. So just gonna give you guys a look quick. Probably we'll do most of this at home. Because we're an hour and a half away, and we got to get back. So, I'll keep updating. All right, not taping a whole lot today as far as moving. We busted ass at the last one. We're at the second one now. This one was 80. Just a small 5x5. Five five. It was really a mystery. Gucci box, unfortunately. Don't see any Gucci shoes yet, but when I get home, we'll be going through this, and uh, I'll be updating more of it. Kind of giving you guys an idea. All right. Okay, so we finally got back. This is the damage from the two storage units. So I couldn't do a lot of video there because we were just too hot and just trying to get done and get back. So I'm going to go through this tonight and I will update with any good finds. We did find this already. So look that up on eBay. I think you'll be surprised. But um, we found a pair of Tony Llama boots in there. If you guys know anything about that, that's really, really can be really good. I'm not sure what they're going to be worth. Um, just interesting stuff. So I will update again in a little while. All right, guys and gals. So it's the next day I'm driving here. So. Um, I'm sorry if I'm moving around. Um, yeah, that's a really good view there, Paul. Anyway, uh, it's the next day, so um, I didn't get a lot of footage at the storage units just because we were in a hurry to get back to take my daughter to work. Um, this was in kind of a big city near like an hour and a half away, and this was one of these units were the type that you couldn't pull up to the unit. Um, you had to you know, pull into like a parking lot kind of near a big, big gate and kind of like go up, take a card. So the one we had to take like five trips and it was so hot. It was like 85, 90 degrees. But anyway, the other one was the same thing where we couldn't really, we had to take a card and like go get the stuff. That one only took two loads. Um, like I said, we paid 80 and 60. So far the $60 unit, I will show stuff later, but the $60 unit is going to be really, really good. Like, there's a lot of paper and a lot of trash in it, a lot of paperwork. Um, but we're finding a lot of good stuff. A lot of just nickel and dime stuff, but a lot of, like, that book I showed you earlier, um, that's really good. There's some other books that are really good. There's Tony Llama boots that I think are probably 50 to to 100 bucks. Um... There's another pair of shoes that's really good. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is in there. There's some, uh, the guy was really into like the, um, like get rich, not get rich quick stuff, but like the real estate seminar stuff. And there's DVDs and like sets of stuff like that that's worth money. Um, but I'll show some stuff later. And, um, you know, one thing I do that I never really said is like we really try to maximize our profits with storage units. Um, on eBay because that's where we're going to get the best price for stuff. Um, I really don't want to do, sorry, I'm driving. I really don't want to do a lot of, um, flea markets if I don't have to. If it's like dollar stuff, you know, that's decent. I will take it to a store. I will take it to a flea market and just do dollar sales to make some extra money. But I try to get everything that I can that would, that I know will sell. And I think that's kind of where I'm good at, um, is I know a lot of stuff that will sell on eBay that I think a lot of people don't really know sell. I'm not trying to like, you know, come off 
bragging or anything, but, like, I mean, I think I know a lot of stuff. Like, I think people don't realize, like, certain things sell on, um, eBay that would really, that do so good. There's a total gym, one of those total gyms in the one locker, and, you know, it's a little beat up, but there's, and it's, I, I don't want to, I obviously wouldn't want to ship it. Um, you know, they're like six, eight hundred dollars, even used, I believe. But there's parts off there. I found at least three parts that I can sell off there for like 40 bucks each plus shipping. Um, stuff like that, like taking stuff apart, uh, you know, different things like that is what I like to do and, and maximize my profits that way. Um, but that unit's going to be good. The second unit looks like it was just like a single mom, possibly. Um, it's mainly clothes. Um, but there is good stuff. There was a Gucci box in there for some kind of Gucci, like, heels. Um, I don't know if they're going to be in there or not, and if they are, I don't know what kind of condition, but I've found some, like, Air Jordans, some baby Air Jordans that, you know, are decent. I could probably get 15 bucks a piece for. Um, and there is other stuff, too, there. So we might not make a ton on that one, but we're definitely going to make some money on that one, too. So I guess I'll stop blabbing now, but... Uh, um, yeah, just wanted to kind of update you guys. I'm actually going to Starbucks just to get some breakfast and hang out a little bit. And then I got a lot of work to do. Um, and for those that don't know, we live in a townhouse, no garage. So I'm doing this like all in my living room and it's, it's brutal. Like I've got to eventually get like a warehouse or something, a small warehouse or something like that, or a storage unit that I can work out of that isn't that has air conditioning or something because it's just brutal here to be dry or to be working in, in the heat and whatnot. So um, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm going to try to really start hitting the storage units hard. I haven't done storage units for like four months. I was getting into some other stuff, but I really like enjoy storage units. So um, yeah, so update later. Well, here's the haul, guys. Um, this is a good majority of the stuff we got out of two storage units. Doesn't seem like a lot, but um, a lot of it was trash, but there's actually some really good money here. Um, don't mind the mess down here. I share it down here with the cats. So, um, so uh, some of this, this was from another unit. Um, this whole tote's filled with Longa Burger stuff. These shoes are from another unit. Here's these Tony Llama boots. Um, actually a little wrinkle or there is some creasing, but actually really good pair. And this pair I looked up is worth some decent money. So I'm pretty excited about those. Um, we got some Lularo stuff, which I don't deal a lot with, but if it's new like these, um, should be like 15 bucks a piece, a nice polo vest, um, bunch of phones which i'll go through i don't know that any are worth but you can save them up and when you get a decent amount of them you can sell them on ebay and make a little money um some little air jordans some polo hats some new socks these are stacy adams shoes um they're actually worth some decent money sometimes um just miscellaneous electronics that will sell for you know eight ten bucks a piece remotes are always good um some books a dvd not worth a lot but these DVDs for the Total Gym. There's a Total Gym upstairs um, that I have parts for. I don't have that down here. So there is other stuff besides this. Um, but there's probably like $75 worth at least of parts upstairs. These DVDs should get probably like $25, $30. Um, routers. Uh, or modems, I guess. They're worth some money. This actually is from the people that do, uh, what do you call it? It's Beachbody. The people that do um, P90X, I guess. Uh, I think that's like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, lots of books that we're going to lot up. These are a lot of like, you know, making money books. Some older stuff. I'm going to probably lot those all together. This Probate Profits, I actually looked that up. It's actually worth some decent money. It's not a complete set, but we might do that separate. Sorry, I'm kind of busting through this quick. There's some other book lots we're going to do. There's like religious books. Um, that's all like, well, there's a VHS. I'm not sure if I'm going to 
sell that, but um, there's a bunch of uh, like CDs and DVDs on making money. Probably do that a lot. Um, these books I think were all good by themselves as a lot. Um, I think some of them were worth decent money. And I did list, what I have over here? Excuse my mess. Cash flows listed, that's down there. Um, and those two books up there are listed. I got, what else do we have? Um, oh, these are really good too. There was two, this guy in the one unit was really into a lot of like, he was into money making stuff. He was into religion and he was into like health stuff. He had a, uh, like an ozone air purifier, like two of those. I have that listed. Um, might be like 40 bucks plus shipping. And these actually are like metal plates that go in there. And I have a ton of them. I mean, I probably have like 10 or 10 or so of them. And that's probably like just that little pile is probably like 70 bucks, 75 bucks just in those plates. I have, an, I have the mini fridge. Um, you know, hoping to get like at least 50 because it's almost brand new. It has a little bit of wear, um, but was still in the box, but the box was a little damaged. But, um, so yeah, that looks a little blurry. And sorry, my kid yelling upstairs if you hear that. Anyway, um, oh, and there's a Grateful Dead tie. Um, just miscellaneous stuff. Some of the stuff, you know, we sell, we only get a few bucks for, but some we get really good money for. Um, like I said earlier, I try to like just sell what I can on eBay because for me here, it's flea markets can be good, but to go and make like a couple hundred bucks in the heat, I would rather just list it on eBay and sell it that way. Most of the stuff is really easy to pack. You know, I'm not going to sell something huge and make five bucks, but if it's like a DVD or a little, you know, like a Wi-Fi booster thing that I can sell for $9.99 free shipping, make five bucks on it, I'm going to do that. So um, there was some other stuff that I don't have here that I'll probably sell locally. And I did do like two totes full of stuff for flea markets when I do eventually do flea markets. Working out of the house to do storage units really sucks because we don't have, um, you know, garage there. There's Brady. What you doing, buddy? So, I mean, this is what I'm working with, really. So, and then here's, like, inventory and stuff here. Um, and I have stuff upstairs. I mean, it's just how it is right now. Um, we have a lot of clothes listed. A lot of stuff to be listed. Basically, all this has to be listed. And, yeah, I think all in all... Um, I'm rallying on, sorry. Uh, I think all in all, we put, I put it down here. We have, and I don't know why it's so blurry. Sorry. Um, I think we're in, into the units for like 319. Um, you know, what gets us is that we have to pay for a van because I don't have, my car is not big enough, our SUV isn't big enough. So I have to rent a van. I mean, there was 150. So, you know, we would have only been into it for like, what, 160 bucks. But it was 150 for the van, put gas in that. Um, even that being said, we should at least double our money on this, probably quite a bit more. But on, on the safe side, I sell stuff cheap usually or cheaper than a lot of people because I like to move the merchandise fast. I don't want to pile stuff up. Um, so, but I mean, at least 320 into like, you know, 650, probably more, um, probably more like 400 or $500 profit once all said and done. Um, cause like I said, I'm looking on the low side for things, but so not bad. Um, a lot of stuff got thrown away. Um, luckily we have a dumpster here. I don't think they're probably real happy with us using the dumpster to, for this, but, uh, I probably filled like two thirds of the dumpster already. Just in this stuff, but some stuff we donate, we're gonna donate like clothes. Um, yeah, so not bad, you know. Yeah, it was a long drive, we busted our butt, but you know, not bad to get, you know, some quality stuff. I mean, not a lot out of two units, but the one was only a five by five and didn't have a ton in it. And the really good unit was, I think, a five by ten, but it wasn't totally full, so, um, 
just a lot of paperwork was thrown out. I mean, I probably threw out in the one unit that we paid 60, I probably threw out like, geez, um, probably three trash bags full just of, of paper stuff, you know, letters. And then in the other one, I probably threw out like a ton of clothes just because it wasn't stuff that could really be donated. I don't know if the girl was, the girl had a lot of like, I don't want to say she was a stripper, but like stripperish clothes and not real good stuff to begin with. So anyway, that's going to end this one. So I'm looking for more storage units soon. So get back at you. And a quick shout out to um, Locker Nuts. Watch them if you don't. Um, I think Odd Spot is another one I watch. They don't do storage units too much, I don't think, but I like them. Watch that channel. And then Transporter. I said that really weird. Transporter. I'm sorry, man. I forget your channel name. I'll try to put a link to it or something or mention it in the comments, but it's like Transporter Vintage. Just look up uh, Shoe Hall. Look up S-H-U, I believe it is, Hall videos, and you'll find his channel, Chris. Um, good stuff. So, yeah, that's it for now. All right, guys, take it easy.